no suit, all right? All you gotta do is keep your, your, ear, your, your eyes open and your ears open, man, and, and pay attention to what's going on around you, you know? That's all you gotta do. This site gives me a list of rates. Okay, good, good. So let's keep on. Yeah. I'll, I'll read this. It says, uh, in 1985, Iraq began an offensive biological weapons program producing anthrax, botulinum toxin, and anthrotoxin. During Operation Desert Storm, the coalition of Allied forces faced the threat of chemical and biological agents. Following the Persian Gulf, uh, uh, Persian Gulf War, Iraq disclosed that it had bombs, Scud missiles, 122 millimeter rockets, and artillery shells armed with botulinum toxin, anthrax, and anthrotoxin. They also had spray tanks fitted to aircraft that could d distribute agents over a, a spe specific target. So that's a, another example of yeah. you know, the Iraq Right. Yeah, that's right, man. They, they you know, it's, it, there's no end to this thing, you know? Now they got, they got the, um, like I, I brought up last week, they got, they got these drones, they can have a drone drop a damn biological bomb on a major city, man, you know? So how the hell these people, with, with all these things in, uh, existing, man, especially the, the thermonuclear missiles, how do people just walk, walk on by planning their, their futures and shit like that? When you got, you got things already in effect that's gonna dis destroy people, man. You know, by, by the hundreds and thousands, you know what I'm saying? People are stupid, man. That's what they are. You know? But uh, it says, in 1995, two members of a, of a Minnesota militia group were convinced of, or, or convicted of possession of, of, of Rissin, which they had produced themselves for use in retaliation against local government officials. That's, that's another example. So this is just a list, the site is just given as a list of certain examples of uh, biological, you know, uh, uh, warfare or things that has happened in the past, you know? So, but the latest thing is that anthrax thing, you know? The, the thing you should be asking yourself, what, what's next? What are they going to do next, you know? It says, in 2001, anthrax was delivered by mail to U.S. media and government offices, there were four deaths. And then uh, in 2001. Yeah. Yeah, that was 2001, you know? So that wasn't too long, too long ago. All right, so, you know, um, we're just bringing this out to, you know, to, to uh, bring out, you know, keeping our eyes open watching for, for different signs of, of stuff that's, that could occur or will occur, you know, in the near future, man, you know? Anything, anything else? You know, I wanted you to look up, um... You could um, look up different deadly, deadly bacteria. If you can't find that in there, look up uh, deadly bacteria. No. Yeah, cause I know you got you got you got this thing dealing with those um those bath salts situations that have happened where they people have actually turned into like flesh eating fucking monsters, man. People were eating ba uh, bath salt or something like that, sniffing it as a drug. There's something out there too, like they got some new drugs out there that's pretty much made with this bath salt and it turns people fucking crazy. Make people want to eat, eat people and shit, you know? They have found one guy in Florida that had, had, had ate some bath salt or something and he, they, they, they found him munching on somebody's face, you know? So, you know, that's another, another thing, another example, you know? So, this is a, yeah, a list of infectious diseases. Number one on here is anthrax. Uh, number one on there is anthrax. You know, which we read before, you could get it by consuming it or by touching an, uh, an animal or a spore. You know, an animal that's infected with this, you know. Uh, another
another one is vo votu votulism. Botulism. Oh, yeah, botulism. Botulism. You can read, read what bot read the read the disease, right? And then what it says underneath it. You know? It says bot botulism is caused by the bacteria Clostridium. Clostridium botulinum. Right? Yeah, all these all these uh, names are all in Latin. You know, medical terms and names for diseases and stuff, it's all in Latin. In law, uh, in, uh, law terms and stuff, all in Latin. Why? Because this is Rome all over again. All right, we well, always say that. Go ahead. It says, uh, it says, which can contaminate people in several different ways. The bacteria can enter the body through open sores, contact with soil, and untreated water and by eating canned food that has been improperly preserved. It says, these bacteria produce spores containing a toxin that can cause poisoning when poisoning, poisoning when eaten. Foods most commonly infected include home canned vegetables, cured pork and ham, smoke or raw fish, and honey or corn syrup. Infants can die, infants can uh, infants also can contract botulism often by eating honey. Yeah, so what they could do, they could, they could, you know, they could, if they wanted to, they could have a large shipment come into a certain city with canned goods that's infected with, with botulism, man. And it'll target what? Babies, little children, and the elderly. So there's many ways, man, that they can use to kill people. In, in, in large numbers, man, or and get them infected and sick, you know? Go ahead. Just, you know, the whole thing, kind of like, this, you know, like, what's next? Oh, your battery about to die. Hey, well, anyway, you know, um, pretty much that's a wrap. You know, we're going we're gonna keep to on, keep on doing this, you know, and um, bringing out the latest things in, in the news that, that, that they, they bring out into the public the public's eye, so to speak. And we're gonna be up, we're gonna be on it, man. We're gonna speak on it, you know, and tie it in with the scriptures. So with that, we're gonna say, you know, shalom. All right, y'all better uh, stay alert, keep watching. Shalom.